Good morning and thanks for joining us on the Friday edition of TVC Breakfast. I'm Veronica Dan Ipoi. I'm not here alone. I have Mike Okwache. Mike, it's a good morning. Good morning. It's uh, good to be here again. Uh, although we have so many stories from across the country, some will make you happy, but a lot more than make headlines are the right. ones that you sit to ponder about. Absolutely. So yeah. Absolutely. And one over. of it mm. was uh, yesterday's building collapse yeah. in Abuja, in Abuja. Guarimpa, mm. precisely, yeah. where I think a two-story building collapsed. It, the building was said to be under construction, although the reason why it collapsed is still not known. It's still sketchy. Mm. Details are still very sketchy. But... Um, it was under construction, and I think about 40 persons were said to have been trapped in that building, although over 20 persons were rescued. Mm -hmm. Two are reportedly said to have died mm -hmm. as we speak. It's, a, it's a, a terrible situation, and when the news came in yesterday, we saw the reports, uh, uh, and uh, even on social media, it's been there. And uh, one would say, of course, when it comes to building collapse, we don't have as much building collapse reports from Abuja like we, we used We've to have had in, Lagos. in Lagos. Exactly. Yeah. So that happening with the kind of building, it still boils down to the issue of uh, something wasn't right in the construction process mm. and, and verification and all of those um, uh, standards. Because when a building passes through all the necessary uh, process with all the verification and all the boxes checked, there is no reason, except it's a natural disaster. Mm. If there's no natural disaster, like uh, those persons have said, a building shouldn't collapse. Absolutely. You know, so, but you, you see, because of the, the quest to let us finish this one so we can build the next one, let's finish this one so we can get to the next one. Mm. You know, there are contracts here and there, and we need to meet up deadlines. Sometimes mm. some contractors uh, try to... Try to uh, cut corners. Cut corners. Mm. And this is a consequence. So in all of this, who pays for it? Right. Especially right? the lives lost. Exactly. Life law, who pays for the lives that are lost? Those who were injured, who handles the inconveniences? Those who were traumatized. Those who were traumatized, who saw everything, who handles their situation? Mm. The person who owns the building, if he is not culpable, mm. because sometimes the building, the person who owns the building also could be involved, but we don't know the, in this situation. Contractors sometimes cannot can be the ones. Uh, they give you all the monies, but you want to cut corners. So in a situation like that, who, who, who handles, who, who bears the bond? Yes. So, so these, are, these are all the things. There, there are connecting consequences, you know, touching so many people when these kind of mistakes are done or negligence or even mischief. Depending on whatever situation is, from after investigations are out, they will might know who, who, who did what or who didn't do what that led to the collapse of the building. Someone so the, has to be held responsible. Somebody has to be held responsible. And the point there is, we usually don't hear of, okay, there will be panels, it's after this kind of thing, how things happen, and there'll be, a panel will be set, and then a panel, then we don't get to hear Anything the again. of the panel. Mm. So there has to be deterrent. So these things don't keep happening again. Mm, absolutely. But we must give kudos to uh, the National Emergency Management mm. Agency for, yeah. you know, quickly coming to the rescue of persons who were trapped, who mm. have been able to, you know, rescue about... 20 persons out of that building is something to give them yeah, kudos for. I, I think that's one thing we like about uh, Abuja. Abuja is, is because, because the, the deliberateness or the, the being intentional to build Abuja with the way it is, mm. there is quicker access to yeah. anywhere you're going than in Lagos that grew organically even under, uh, as a federal capital territory uh, before, before 1991 when it was relocated uh, finally. But Abuja has a better connectivity. Yeah. So when there is fire or there is an ambulance you can or easily any, access yeah, the you building. can easily access uh, anywhere the, the thing is happening. Mm -hmm. So that and there are, there are satellite areas where uh, government presence have not come there yet, mm -hmm. and then people As build fully, anyhow yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you see, after a little while, they come to clear up all of those places, you know, and then begin to set up the place. Mm -hmm. So. I believe that uh, they will ensure, government will ensure that uh, this doesn't happen again. It's been happening in the capital territory. Doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. In fact, happening anywhere doesn't yeah, sound right. But absolutely. the capital territory itself, ah, we have a lot of um, visitors, we have a lot of uh, expatriates and so on. And we shouldn't be allowing that to happen. That's, mm. that's the image of Nigeria. Absolutely. Yeah. And then those that were rescued, because I saw a video yesterday when some of them were weeping profusely mm. uh it would be good if they are taking for some you know 
psychological check. Exactly. They need it at this point because of what they witnessed. And as much as possible, that trauma will still be there to help them during this period. This is one thing we don't speak about, mm -hmm. helping people who go through traumatizing situations, yeah. you know, to come out of it so that they can move on with their lives because yeah. it could hamper their progress yeah. uh, a, a mentally. Lot of, a lot of people, what, what, that's, that trauma can be very devastating because it has, it has, there are implications going forward. Yeah. Some persons have not recovered from the trauma of NSARS up until now. Yeah. Right? Fine. So the, 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 there is a need. It's just that a lot of people may, when it comes to go for those psychological trauma or whatever checks. tests or checks, some people will say, well, we don't have the time. Others will say, we don't have the mm -hmm. monies to do that. You know, uh, that's because life... they do not understand the implications. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's it could absolutely. cost you even more mm. if you don't.